My future dreams and goals for Monmouth Worship Center are both corporate and personal. Corporate uh, would be increase. More lives coming to Christ, more ministries, more baptisms in the Holy Spirit, um, being more of a lighthouse for the community. On a personal level, I also see the word increase. I want to come closer to God. I want to be used more of God. I want to be more obedient to Jesus. I want increased vision and moving in the gifts that God has given me. Um, also, I have a secret hope and dream on a personal nature to increase the legacy. I look so forward one day to not only having our children worship here with us at Mammoth Worship, but their families and my children's children. Like, how cool would that be? I'm very excited. We're able to do so much more with a larger uh, sanctuary and, and all the classes that we're going to have. And we're going to be able to give a greater variety of courses. And uh, we are going to, one of my plans, of course, is to have well-trained teachers and to have different types of courses to help people with their finances, to help people write a resume, help people uh, in marriage counseling, all these different courses uh, we can set up on a regular basis and eventually, of course, we're going to need a full-time director of Christian Ed. With a more of a sense of unity and purpose as we're going into this new building, we have the power to shake things up a little bit. I want to see us as Mammoth Worship Center have an impact on, say, an entire community of people or an entire sector of society or to take on a whole issue and see the power of God come and make a, a big impact in that area. Hope for Mammoth Worship Center is that it grows even more with children and youth and adults and that it's an even more loving environment and we'll be able to bring even more people in and it'll just be a comfortable home for people. May the church be a church that's open 24 hours for people to come in and pray and seek the Lord and for the Holy Spirit's anointing to come and move in a mighty way where the, the, the people see healings and just the, uh, falling in the Spirit and then most of all they know how what truly grace is and for us to live the abundant life in the Lord. To be a more diverse multicultural church where we have multiple services and multiple languages um, and also for Mama Worship Center to birth uh, multiple churches not just locally here in the county but possibly go globally um, in different countries and I think that's where uh, we, we can possibly go to and head to and, and accomplish in the next 10 years. My hopes and dreams for Mammoth Worship Center are that MWC can become the center of strong faith in God, more baptisms and amazing healings. Do more evangelism reach outs through our Easter play, Christmas plays and other events that need light through Christ. Raise money for our children's ministry doing um, BGMC to raise money for missionaries and people who are in need in different countries. Also that we can have um, the children's worship team be awesome so that we could attract new people to come to MWC and look forward to worship. Three things that are important for moving to the new building is what we leave behind, what we take with us, and what we accomplish once we get there. We should leave, I think, behind a powerful legacy and anointing on this building and on the community. I think we should take with us the love that we have um, in this church. I think we're no, known for love, and I think it's a very important element that we must continue to, to utilize when we get there. And then also when we get there, I think what we need to strive for is to prepare your best, that God increases our territory, that we reach out and, and, and minister to new people, that we protect, that he protects us, that we use it for kingdom building, and that we bring no harm against anyone. Jesus.